Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 45. Today is our lesson number 45. For the last four days, day number 41, 42, 43, 44, we have been doing, we have been, we have been dealing with the notion of prime factors. And today is going to be our last video, the fifth video in the series dealing with the concept of prime factors. And what we're going to do today is to see, to look at a word problem which has an application of this notion, the notion of prime factors. If the, if the problem does appear in, in the exam which has to do with prime factors, in the most likely scenario, it's going to be a very long word problem and you have to be smart enough to realize immediately that the, it, this problem deals with prime factors and nothing more than that. Do you understand? If you're preparing for ACT, SAT, TES, GMAT or GRE, in one of those tests, something like this could appear. I'm going to read the problem to you uh, verbatim uh, in the event that you have trouble in the event that you have trouble with my handwriting I understand my handwriting is atrocious on a good day and today is not a good day it says a container a container is filled with a container is filled with red white blue and green marbles so we have a container with three uh, with four different colors of marbles each worth each worth two three five and seven point respectively. Then what happens? Second sentence, there are three sentences in the problem. Se second sentence, we are told a number of marbles, a number of marbles are then removed from the container and their values recorded. So each time, so we put our hand in there, we remove a bunch of marbles and we just record the value by looking at the color, which record the number value of each of the marbles that we have removed. What do we do next? We are told that if the product, if the product of all the points value, if the product of all the points value of the removed marble equals 63,000, the question simply is in that case, how many of each type must we have, remo must we have removed? If it turns out that when we, when we multiply this point value of each of the marbles that we remove, and it turns out that the product of all the points value happens to equal 63,000, then how many of each time did be removed? Now, if it, if you like, if it becomes, if, if it is less intimidating for you, if you like, we could start out with a baby version of this problem. It's okay to do that just to understand the concept. Let's do the baby version first. Instead of dealing with this monster of 63,000, let's make it a tiny number. Let's pretend that it is 210. 210. Now, how do we know that this question deals with the notion of prime factors? Well, the clue is right here. Look at, the, look at all the values, 2, 3, 5, 7, those are all prime numbers. Those are all prime numbers. We simply have to find the prime factors of that number, 210, and we are done. Let's do it. Okay, one more time. I'm going to read it quickly before I erase it. A container is filled with red, white, blue, and green marbles, each worth 2, 3, 5, and 7 points respectively. A number of marbles are then removed from the container and their point will be recorded. If the product of all the points value of the removed marbles equals not 63,000 but 210 in our baby version, how many of each type must we have removed? Let's find out. Well, what we notice is that 210 we learned before in the day number 41 through 44. We learned the trick that if something is a multiple of 10, we can break it up. 21 is simply. 210 is simply 21 times 10 and 21 is a multiple of 3 and 7 and 10 is a multiple of 2 and 5 in other words 210 is simply 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 what do you know? so if you put your hand in the container and happen to remove 4 marbles and one by one you, you looked at the color and you noted the point value of each of the marbles and then you multiplied all the points value and if it turns out that the product of all the points value is exactly 210 then that tells us that we must have removed one of each color we must have removed one of each color and no more than that let's do 63,000 
Let's do 63,000. 63,000 can be written as 63 times 1,000. 1,000 is simply 10 raised to 3, which is simply 2 times 5 raised to 3, which is no more than 2 cube times 5 cubes. So we already know that we removed three of three of the marbles with, whose value point value was two, and we must have removed three of the marbles whose point value was five. Let's make a note. Let's make a note of all the values here on the side so that we don't have to keep wondering what they were. We had red, white, blue, and green. Red, white, blue, and green, and we were told that they were worth two, three, five, and seven. Well, we already know that we have three, we have three of the white ones. Oh, sorry, blast it, you see, I just made a mistake, oh, damn it. Three is the exponent here, we have three of the, of the ones that have value of five, and those are blue. We have three of the blue ones. We must also have three of the ones whose value is two, and those are red. We have three red ones, so far we have three red ones, and we have three blue ones. Let's see what we get out of this one. 63 divided by 3 is going to give us 2 and 1 divided by 3 one more time is going to give us 7. That's it, we're done. In other words, in other words, 63,000, 63,000, is simply equal to 2 cubed times 3 squared times 5 cubed right here times 7. Which marble had a point value of 2? Point value of 2 is red. So we have 3 of the red ones. We have 3, 3 red ones. We have 2 of the marbles that have value of 3. Those are white. White has a value of 3. So we have 2 white. We must have 3 of the ones that have value of 5 and that was blue. We have 3 blue which means we must have had 1 green. 1 green. Voila. That's our answer. We have 3 red marbles in our hand, 2 white ones we must have removed, we must have removed 3 blue ones and 1 green one. Now for those of you who have been watching these videos in this proper series, and if you watched yesterday's video, day number 44, you will recognize this problem immediately. Yesterday we did five problems, and one of the very last problems we did was this one. This was, this, this, we found the prime factors of 63,000, and today we see how something like this will appear on the exam as a word problem. Do you understand? Why not?